are air-gapped wallets hack resistant? Is this the end-all be-all hardware wallet for cryptocurrency users? I'm not convinced of it, spoiler alert. If you wanna know which cryptocurrency hardware wallets we are using, you gotta check out the CT Club, a link for that is down below. Also, if you wanna know what Toby is up to on social media, he's definitely active on Twitter. He is a firecracker. I think you guys would really enjoy giving him a follow. He's got a ton of insights that he would love to share with you guys all. You can find him on Twitter at Sir Crypto Tips. Go give him a follow. I very much appreciate it and so does he. Anyway, let's get into the video. So today's video is definitely inspired by an article I found from the Bitbox team. I found it to be pretty well balanced and the fact that they backed it up with some facts about uh, real attack vectors for hardware wallets and how air-gapped wallets don't necessarily 100% guarantee that they are hack resistant, which I think a lot of uh, people are thinking now because of some claims being made by air gap wallets. Um, I'm gonna provide a link for that article down below in the video description if you wanna go ahead and read it for yourself. I highly recommend that you do. For those of you who are not familiar, air-gapped wallets or air-gapped devices basically means it's an isolated device. It's never directly connected to any other devices by let's say a cord, a direct connection for data to be able to transmit to be transmitted through that cord. But still, if we're talking about cryptocurrency devices designed to interact and make transactions with a blockchain, you're gonna need to communicate in some way with the internet, you're gonna need to communicate in some way to gain a connection to that network. Air-gapped wallets often work, do that in one or two ways. They either use QR codes or you have a micro SD card that you physically remove from the hardware wallet and you put it into your computer and then that's how you move files back and forth. Again, always preventing your uh, device from being directly connected to a computer or any other device that has, let's say, internet connectivity. Um, a QR code, usually the device will generate a QR code. You take a photo of it with your device that is connected to the internet. So it's just a photo thing with Bluetooth. There is some inherent risks for Bluetooth. Uh, how short of a range is it exactly? And, and can that be intercepted? And also vice versa, the QR codes can be generated, let's say by your phone or your computer um, through the associated app with that AirGap har hardware wallet. And that's how you are receiving and sending coins back and forth. So should you automatically assume that an AirGapped wallet is some kind of a guarantee against a hack? No, not necessarily because and this is a direct conflict with a lot of claims that AirGap wallet creators make that the data being transmitted in these communications of let's say a QR code or files being written on a micro SD card are more transparent, but they're not human readable. You can't, I can't look at a QR code and know exactly what data is being presented to me. It's a bunch of little boxes mixed together. And with the SD card, similarly, uh, you know, if you look at the actual files, the data of the files that you're being uh, transmitting with between the device, that's not necessarily human readable either. So there's not exactly trans like explicit transparency, but you could argue that you know exactly when information is being transmitted is because there is one QR code or you are physically taking the SD card to and from the device, whereas when it's just a cable connecting, it could be feeding data all that you all that you know for all you know consistently. Um, that is not an official claim whatsoever, but it's I think it's an, an assumption being made, uh, and it's a use case for air-gapped wallets for sure. But here is the only indicator that will actually keep your cryptocurrency safe and uh, prevent you from being hacked is if the hardware wallet software, the wallet itself is capable, I'm gonna use the phrase from this article from Bitbox, if that wallet is capable of sanitizing the data that it receives. If a hacker has infiltrated the app that you are using to interact with your air-gapped wallet, uh, they could alter the data that you are being uh, sent to and from your wallet, and in that way, you could be compromised. It's the very same type of threat that we have with all hardware wallets, regardless if it's a cord connecting it, or if it's a QR code, or if it's files on, a S on an SD disk. And the security of the wallet is totally up to the development team and the creators of that wallet. So that's why 
Personally, I am very skeptical of any brand new hardware wallet on the, on the market because for me personally, they haven't proven themselves. So far, I have covered Bitbox and coming up very soon, I'll be going over Cold Card. Each of these, in my opinion, are solid uh, hardware wallet options outside of the tried and true Ledger and Trezor, which by the way, each of those are definitely having a hard time in the press lately, a tit for tat going on. Ledger, you know, we all know what they shot themselves in the foot. Uh, Trezor is not perfect. And I'm sure Bitbox and Cold Card aren't either, but they are definitely solid options. And that should be your overall understanding so far of any cryptocurrency wallet. There is no end all be all. There is no guarantees in crypto, period. And with that kind of understanding, I think it's healthy because it keeps us from getting comfortable and lazy and outsourcing our critical thinking. You guys, we have to be intuitive crypto investors, and that means in how we are storing our cryptos as well. So if you guys wanna learn more again about what I was talking about today, you wanna read that full article, it's down below in the video description. This is not a sponsored post whatsoever for Bitbox or Cold Card or anything. This is just me exploring different cryptocurrency hardware wallets and voicing my opinions to you guys. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed these videos, hit like, hit subscribe. I'll see you soon.